Okay, I'm recording again. So this is how you code uh, the data set. Okay, so let's, since I don't need to see the retrieve segments for now, what I need only is the document, the codes and the document here. Uh, I'll click on retrieve segments. And when I do that, it's gone. So I only have three, uh, I only have three uh, windows to worry about. So let's see here. So you have your document here, right? You have your document here, you're reading through it. You, let's say that you're doing close coding. That, that's the reason why you already have your codes ready right here. Um, so let's say um, I'm doing this uh, without, without prejudice anymore, all right? So here, uh, let's say that this statement, uh, so bilang kasapi ng samahan, that's something that's important to you. And that one is, um, that one is related, no, no, sorry. Let's say that tumutulong po sa amin ang mga pare at ang UST. Let's say that one is an important statement to you. And that one resonates with, um, resonates with, uh, let's say P, uh, no, 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 progress, okay? Or pagkakaisa, unity. If that is something that is um, related to pagkakaisa, let me deactivate this. How do you deactivate? Um, you just click on um, click on this, and then there is the deactivate uh, part there. Okay, so I want to code um, this statement. So I did you see it? I highlight it, right? You use right click or whatever um, version you have in your computer. You highlight it, and then you go to pagkakaisa. I activate the code, right? You would see here. On the on the code bar that pagkakaisa is active okay so since it's already there what i will do is use this part this is code okay i'll click it do you see it what happened it wrote pagkakaisa it's already coded with the blue so this line is already coded okay now what if i'm reading through it and i saw something that um I want to code with a new one. Okay? Pasapi ng mga pasapi or whatever that is. And I say, oh, recruitment. I want to say that this is all about recruitment. So I've highlighted this already. And then what I will do is click on this. This is make a new code. Click on this. Do you see the dialog box? So I will say recruitment. Okay? And then I will say a code memo will be recruitment. Um, recruitment means, you know, blah, 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 blah. And then I would say, eh, I want to call it um, a light blue. You know, you would assign light blue for whatever reason you have. And then you create OK. You would notice that recruit, re recruitment is already there in the code system. All you have to do now is drag it to the appropriate code system. So let's say that for me, recruitment is, it belongs to vision. So now I have recruitment under vision, okay? You would notice, notice that there's already the code, right? You see that, right? Why? Because here I've already coded it, recruitment, okay? So once I click on retrieve segments and I click on, double click on recruitment, it's already there. I already have it there, see? Do you see it? All right. So let me remove that again. Now, what if um, something was very important? I needed to use that very word. I don't have to create a new code. I don't have it in my code right now, but I want to use that. Let's say the word is um, um, tulungan. There. Nagtutulungan. Okay. I highlight that and I say, I cannot make a new code for this. This is the code that must be used because it's very important as a term. I could just click this, this, this icon, which is code in vivo. Click it, nagtutulungan is right here already. It has been coded already as nagtutulungan. You drag it again to whichever um, code umbrella that you want it to be under. See, you already have nagtutulungan. Is that clear? Mom, ma'am? Mom? Mom, Karine? Yes, Paul. 
what if kunyari gusto nilang uh, yun sa pagkakaisa, then they see it na naman sa ibang line. Paano yun maa-add na... Do you mean if pagkakaisa is uh, another you part wanted to code again? Yes. Okay, uh, that, that's a very good question. You can highlight pagkakaisa and then you say, but pagkakaisa also means progress, right? So what you do is highlight, highlight pagkakaisa and then you click on the code progress, check if it is actually there, so it's there, progress, and then you code. Now you see that pagkakaisa is not just pagkakaisa, but it's also progress. So it's double coded already. Does that, does that answer your question? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. So again, in qualitative research, one word can mean so many things. Your pagkakaisa could be progress, could be welfare, could be peace, could be recruitment, could be whatever. You can double code it. And as you would notice, just from this, um, from this section, we have multiple codes already, okay? And who is this person anyway? Um, so you would notice that uh, for, um, for this person, uh, Ruby, this person has so many codes into the statement, meaning this is a key informant. Okay, this person is a key informant. This person would most likely be a good candidate for you to be your participant observation um, um, partner. Okay, this is also one way that you could select your participant observation partner. Okay, any other questions? 